Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your reading. I have my um, candle up here today um, from my little altar of thanks and prayers that I was doing this morning. So I just brought it with me and I thought, let's let it burn. And look, it's the it's the um, Virgin of Guadalupe. And uh, I figured, you know what? Let her overlook our reading today. I think it'd be really good. So spirit and angels and the virgin of guadalupe what do we need to know about this reading for capricorn what are the most important messages for anyone of the highest good we are open to receive these messages capricorn reading this reading is for the whole week but it's also for anyone who's guided to see it um also multiple messages could come out during this reading right to the very last second inclu including different storylines that come out sometimes at the last minute for different people okay so let's do this capricorn reading for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided we only want one or two cards here one or two what do we need to know what are the messages we're starting with these oracle cards um, and we're going to work into, you know, it's funny because I could swear this come out before. I don't know. I, f I think somebody else had that. It might have been a personal reading, though. Uh, fragmented energy, a consciousness of lack and taking steps. So this is uh, just shows me that um, so something probably happened. And I think because it's sitting right here and I saw it, this was your bottom card taking steps, but right behind it is conflict. And this is an event. So I feel like something happened. This is what I feel because I felt it immediately. Something happened, some kind of an event happened in your life, something. It was some kind of conflict. And when this happened, it puts you in this state of consciousness. See, this is a consciousness card. See, they're all different. This is an event card. This is a consciousness card. This is quantum oracle. Okay. So when this happened, this event, it puts you in a state of consciousness of lack. That's like, this is the five of pentacles. See how it's a number five card. This is like feeling left out in the cold, feeling sad, lost, lonely, whatever happened really well, it affected you, right? And you ended up in this kind of energy with your heart chakra was affected here. And see how she's got the puzzle pieces that are missing, the fragmented energy. One's missing at her eye and one's missing at her heart. And this always feels to me like someone who um, was affected. Well, it was affected emotionally. And with the consciousness of lack, look how emotional that person looks. Like they just feel, look at all the water falling here. I mean, it really is somebody who really is being affected, mostly with this heart chakra here. So the event puts you in a consciousness of lack and an energy of fragmented energy with these misses, missing pieces. And it also, um, whenever I see this card, I say work on your chakra system because this event, at all events that are a conflict or that leave us feeling like this in the five of pentacles affect all our uh, chakras. So it's a good idea um, to not just work on the heart chakra, but work on all of them. All right. Then that's up to you. Of course, it's all over YouTube, how to do this. If you want to, because it, there's all different ways to do it and everybody's different. So I say, check out YouTube and see what you like. Uh, we have the intentions card of taking steps and this is taking steps that's your intentions your intentions are to take steps to change this okay so the conflict happened it took little pieces of you and mangled it up right it left you feeling a certain way and you're going to take steps to fix it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good conflict consciousness of lack fran fragmented energy and taking steps nine of swords reverse that's really the way we want to see it what else do we need to know okay and the sun wow really nice okay so that's excellent so uh this just feels like a complete change of how you feel it sits right under cat uh consciousness of lack and it's a, the direct opposite energy it's a, a energy of joy and happiness and especially in this deck oh i'm so sorry this is the light seer's tarot Look how happy she is, sitting right under your consciousness of lack and fragmented energy there. What else do we need to know, please? What do we need to know? Knight of Swords. Okay, that's a very fast energy in this deck. It also could be 
uh, communication, but it's really a movement card in this particular deck. The uh, nine, another nine. The uh, nine of wands, excellent. The wounded warrior standing tall. Wow, wow. Okay, so, well, I do see the lovers in reverse. So this probably was some kind of a partnership that you had, a, you know, this conflict with. I love some of your cards though. Wow. So the good news is your nine of swords, which is a difficult card and look at how devastated she is under a lot of stress in reverse, which is the way we want to see it right next to it. The sun comes out and look at the joy. There's a change happening here and it might happen really fast. Uh, the knight of swords. We also have the wounded warrior here that never gives up the nine of wands. Uh, two nines here tells me you're coming to the end of a cycle and you also have an eight, two aces, shut the front door. You have the ace of wands reverse and the ace of pentacles in the upright. Excellent. This is about to come in for you. You're going to have these aces. Whenever I see an ace in the reverse, I just feel like we just got to figure out how to get it in the upright. What do we have to do? It's there for us. We just got to get it in the upright. How do we get to it? But you have this ace of pentacles in the upright right here. Look at that. That's lovely. All right, so right next to it, we have the lovers in reverse, and we also have judgment. What a great card. Uh, these are great cards. They all are. Look at the lovers card. Beautiful deck of cards. Uh, so what I feel here is that um, whenever I see the nine of wands in most decks, not in the after tarot, but there's a reason for that. But in this, every other deck. Uh, I see the nine of wands as someone who's totally doing it on their own. Okay. Now in the vice versa deck, I see spirit come in and help someone. And in the after tarot, I see someone stand next to them, you know, and that's after they've already fought the fight by themselves, right? Cause it's the after next step. But in most decks, like I see in this one, there's someone standing on their own with their, you know, they are the wounded warrior on their own. And right next to it, I see the lovers in reverse. So this says to me, I'm not with somebody right now. I am doing this on my own. Yes, it was stressful, but the sun's coming out and I'm quickly moving into what? Wow. Whew. This is like a rebirth. Um, I love this judgment card because it's like, just like the sun. Look at it the dawning of the new day. This person is like being rebirthed in the best way. Look at them both. Can you see both of them here? They look the same. This comes from the inside out. This is what it's happening here. Okay, this is coming from the inside out where we're getting past a lot of this conflict and this stress and this feeling of lack and we're changing it. We're not gonna live like that anymore. We're gonna put our pieces of our puzzle together ourselves. Okay, and why, how we're going to do, this is going to change our lives. It truly is going to put you, it's going to rebirth you into um, this beautiful, amazing, happy, joyful energy. And this need, you have to take steps for this. This just doesn't land on your doorstep, right? This is something you have to take steps for and it's going to lead you to these new beginnings. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, gorgeous energy. And these might have been blocked before because of these fives. These fives here, we got another one right there, the Five of Cups reversed. So you have the Five of Cups and you have the Five of Pentacles. And you had to, you, you had to think about this. And look at it, it's you, the King of Pentacles right there. That is your energy right there. You stayed in this energy. You stayed in this for a while and you stewed on it. You contemplated on it. You you got enlightened while you were in this. This is the hanged man state, but look how enlightened this person's becoming by just staying there and thinking about things and contemplating on things and thinking about what your next move would be. And your next move is these beautiful new beginnings that were being, they were being blocked by the fives, but now you're going to release these fives. That's, that's the five of cups, uh, right next to the eight of wands reversed while you stay like you purposefully put yourself in this position so you can see things from a, a, a different perspective and become enlightened about this that's about to happen for you. Okay. So you, as the wounded warrior went into your cocoon state to your hangman state and just stayed there. And now it's time. It's time to unblock these energies and, um, you know, let yourself go into this beautiful new energy and then takes 
taking steps. So I don't know what it is you're doing, but keep on doing it because it's lovely. It really is. It's like a complete rebirth, renewal, new. And this could happen in any area, even though it's the lovers. Sometimes the lovers is a decision card for me when it's not about love. It's just a decision card. Um, you could have decided something in your life and uh, after this conflict, you know, you could have changed something. This could be about anything um, or it could be any kind of partnership, really. Um, but I feel because we do have these pen, we have the pentacle here. We have the wand here. It doesn't have to be love. I don't see anything besides the lover's reverse that says it had to be love. But of course, it definitely could have been. So whatever it was for each of you will probably be different. But I do feel like um, this energy is changing. Whatever was going on here, um, you're taking steps to change your this these fives. Okay, these fives are a difficult place to be. They come because of things like this, an event in our our life that happens that puts us in them. So these this conflict puts you in this energy, and now you're getting yourself out of it. I don't know if you've started this process or not. But all I can say is keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. You are the wounded warrior. You can do this. And when you do this and you come out the other end of it, look, at the, this is your central issue. Happiness, joy, success, a rebirth, a new cycle. What do we need to know? What are the messages? I want to look at the Nine of Swords here. What about the Nine of Swords reversed? We're releasing a bunch of stress. like out it feels like yeah look at that the empress really nice okay so you probably are coming through with the, as this empress for a lot of you um let me look at the sun here you know for some of you you could have been dealing with the empress right or you could be still tell me about the sun Whoa, that's way too many. Can we just do one or two? The sun. The sun ends up being your central issue here, which I love. What a great central issue. So we got the six of cups reversed, but also flipped out in the center of the deck. We got the eight of pentacles. So for some of you, this could be a relationship. And some of you, this could be something that happened in um, a business sense or at work. Uh, but whatever this is, it's it. the matter is being cleared up or you're... Part, the, the part that you went through the difficult part is being cleared up there's something here you are now this also could be you working on yourself after this breakup because there is what looks like for some of you there's definitely been a relationship breakup here and you are putting your work your effort into self and boy is it going to pay off tell me about the knight of swords knight of swords but when I see the Eight of Pentacles come up, I do have to say for some of you, it could have been something that happened in business. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. But this is going to be for a smaller percentage of you, I feel. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What do we need to know? This strength card. And when the deck split, I saw the strength card right underneath the Eight of Pentacles. So it's possible. And, you know, you've got the strength. You've got the Eight of the knight of swords this is the strength to move forward to really and this is landscape portal so funny when i saw that and i said something could happen fast this happiness and joy could come into your life quicker than you think like all of a sudden as you take these steps if you do it during the lionsgate portal it's almost guaranteed i mean everything that happens during the lionsgate uh, portal that you put your effort into whether it's something for self, whether it's something you want to do. Do you want to go to university? Do you want to, you know, what is it you want to do? Put your efforts in, start planning now, because when that Lionsgate portal hits, you want to be, you want to go and do whatever this is. You want to put your effort into whatever it is that you have been thinking about. I'm not going to go over it again. Please look up Lionsgate portal that's coming very soon. The window of opportunity starts at the very end of July and goes to almost mid August, but not quite. So don't, you know, miss the opportunity. But the 88 portal is at its peak capacity of openness <laughs> on, I don't think that's a word, but on 88, August 8th. But if you, you know, put your efforts in during this time, everything's accelerated. That's why when I saw that Knight of Swords, I thought of the Lionsgate portal and then to have this come out 
and clarify it. This is going to take a lot of wands off your back. This is also another, you've got the eight, you've got the nines and the tens here. Okay, telling us that this could change your entire cycle that you've been in. I, you know, we get stuck in cycles for a very long time because we're still in fives. Okay, where we might have gotten the bully off of us and you might have got rid of the five of swords, but you were still stuck in, stuck in the lack consciousness, the five of pentacles. And you were still stuck in the five of cups, which looks like you're now uh, releasing. Capricorn reading, nine of wands. Yeah, three of cups, knight of cups reversed, and another cycle release here. The wheel of fortune. It's a number 10 card, another 10. So whatever this is that you've been carrying this burden for, that you've been standing tall about, look at what's behind it. This would end your fives, your five of wands. This would end the drama. When this wheel turns, you can release this drama that you've been going through. I feel like you've been fighting with the person that you're in a relationship with, possibly over a third party, because see the Knight of Cups here reversed and the Three of Cups on top of what you've been defending or what you've been blocking or what you've been, been through as the Wounded Warrior. And when you turn the wheel, you release this Five of Wands. All right, now listen, you could be, um, like I said, we have King of Pentacles here and we have Empress here. So pick your, whichever one you really feel like you resonate with. Didn't we have King of Pentacles? Yeah, right there. Okay, so whichever one you feel you resonate with. Um, if you feel like you're the King of Pentacles, great. If you feel like you're the Empress, great. But I feel like this is between two people and I think there was, now third party something. Someone brought third party interference into this relationship. Sometimes this could be someone else. It doesn't always have to be love, right? It could be a, like a mother-in-law, a sister-in-law. I hate to uh, blame the girls, but they are usually the ones that interfere. Um, let's look at the lovers here reversed. What is it we need to know? Lovers reversed. Yeah, world reversed. Absolutely, it's just a matter of time. So this is all about you know, your wheel and your world turning so that you can have your aces. These aces are right here. I mean, your new beginning is right here and you're on all these nines and tens. My goodness, such a small reading. And it's all about cycle change. The sun cycle change the world, cycle change the wheel of fortune. And it has to do with you ending this old cycle. This old cycle for most of you has to do with some kind of partnership. Um, I feel like it's a, a relationship for most of you with these cards, but, you know, it could be a little different for each of you. Let's look at the judgment here. What about the judgment? Hey, it could be that you have to protect yourself from an entire group of people who you feel are not sincere. And that's very possible. Tell me about the judgment card here. And it's a decision you're making too, because remember the lovers for me is a decision card if it's not about romance. You could be making a decision to detach from a whole group of people that you find to be insincere, that you feel like you have to defend yourself, protect yourself, you don't trust them. It could be at work. So this doesn't have to be love for everybody. Let me look at the judgment card here. Herefant. Perfect. Another number five card. Another five. This also has to do with, look at this. Whew. This is very spiritual too. So even though this could have something to do with um, busting free of something that bound you, for some of you, you could have been stuck in some like weird spiritual group. I mean, it is in the upright. It's not reversed. Normally I would see that in the reverse, but it really could be that you've been rebirthed and reborn into a good spiritual group, right? Hello. Hi. You know, I like um, to think that we here are a good spiritual group. I definitely feel like you're being spiritually guided through this. See how we have the Hierophant here. This is the high priest here. And we have this person doesn't matter the gender being rebirthed here. Um, it really does. It feels like re being baptized again, you know, and you don't have to be baptized. I mean, I, every, every religion is welcome here. I feel like this really has to do with 
new beginnings coming in, end of a cycle obviously happening here. Um, but this really has to do, I almost feel like this reading came out to say, like it's really your decision. Okay, you're standing here like this right now. The wounded warrior defending yourself against whatever the, these people are doing. Okay, it's it, you don't trust them. You don't think they're sincere or somebody's trying to offer you third party or you're trying to get free from a third party or a group. Okay, busting free from a group. Bust, and now, if some of you could have been stuck in some religious group that you're busting free of, for the most of you, this is a positive card for me. Um, but this has something to do with a choice that you'll make. Remember, the lovers is a choice, whether, no matter if it's about love or not. And that choice is to turn this world in the upright and let your new cycle come in. And look at her. She's like, phew, this has been a long time coming. And it's funny because the wheel of fortune is the same way and that showed up too and i wish that i had kept it out now but she looks the same way exhausted because it's time for this cycle to end it's been a long time coming and they both are saying the same thing we need to end this old cycle but it's a decision that i'll make whether i'm going to end it or not my decision okay and this is where we stand and spirit is saying look when you end this cycle with this group or this third party or whatever it is that caused you issue, you release that or you release the past or you release this thing. You end up in the sun in this very beautiful, happy energy here. And you also end up in the same with the same person on it, really. Like, look at it. Like I said, she looks the exact same as her. This is where you're going to end up you also become reborn and you're also being spiritually guided to do this. Uh, but you probably already know that, right? Um, look at the Ace of Wands, how it looks like the High Priestess. There's another card in this deck that's the High Priestess and she kind of looks identical. Sometimes I confuse them. I used to when I first got the deck. But she is listening to her guides. Her guides are saying, you know, her spirit, her spirit is saying, do the change the cycle so that you can have the happiness okay let yourself go into this beautiful these are new energies that we want to bring in for you like i said listening to your intuition this one was reversed is going to bring this all in for you it's beautiful um and this could have all been blocked from you and like i said because you had you were staying in the fives five of cups and five of pentacles not once but twice here didn't you have another five i thought you did oh well you have the hierophants of five as well it might have been at the bottom of the deck but either way this all is like you purging this old energy so that you can have this rebirth this renewal this new and it might be that you're doing it on your own you're not going to be doing it with this group but look at you you know wounded warrior but she looks amazing she's standing she stands tall on her own getting away from this group or this third party is what gets you out of these fives because they were keeping you small and you are not small you're an empress or you're a king of pentacles my god so i hope this helps in some way i'm going to grab you guys a couple of angel cards here and we're going to find out these angel cards have been sitting right next uh, uh, right next to that candle. Let's see what, what they have to say to us. Angels, what do we need to know here? What do we need to know? Yep, balance. That's what you're going to see. This rebirth is balance being brought back into your life. Love being brought back into your life. And relaxation being brought back into your life. These are all the doors that will open for you as you take these steps right take the steps you know allow the the cycle to change allow maybe some of you have been blocking new love maybe you've been blocking the new love because of what you went through in the past right you couldn't get out of the five of pentacles so how are you going to let love in and it'll just be tainted ruined you know wasted maybe this is something you need to do okay so if you allow yourself this purging of this thing that happened it was really something that happened in the past i really feel this a conflict happened and it put you in this state of consciousness of lack and fragmented energy and kept you blocked from you know kept you in this uh, the fives but it also uh, 
kept you in this state of contemplation or ruminating on it maybe too long right um kept you blocking stopping not allowing uh, it's very very possible for some of you it's time to allow something back into your life for some of you you're purging something that was insincere or people that you felt were not sincere you're purging that but for others of you that already happened and now it's time to purge the energy so you can let love back in again all right i hope this helps someone you know of course there's you know thousands of people are going to watch this reading so there's going to be different re different like i always say to people stay till the end because sometimes a different story comes out at the very very end and this is one of those times where a few of you might need to get rid of these fives so you can let love back into your life again and end the old cycle that puts you in that energy in the first place all right guys have a good one i hope that you enjoyed this reading please don't forget to like it it helps the channel so much and i appreciate it 